اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الانسان من علق What is the name of the Farsi University of the world? I'm not sure what it is, but I'm, I'm going to take a guess like Oxford or something. What, whatever you. Cambridge. Cambridge. Um, whatever you. Uh, Duke University. Duke, Duke University. It was actually a Muslim woman who founded the Farsi University in the world and her name was Fatima al -Fihri. Many people don't know Islam put emphasis on education at the moment it was born. <laughs> Sanadu'u al Fihri was born in 800 AD in Tunisia, which is about 3,000 miles away from Baghdad. Baghdad was the center of the universe at that time. Why is that? It's because uh, the Islamic Golden Age, it's because the House of Wisdom, it's because Al Khawarizmi. So every time I, I, I'll tell you a story of a uh, Muslim man or Muslim women, I'll make a uh, uh, I'll use al as a as a reference frame because of the invention of algebra and he was the founder, he was the founder of algebra. I want to monitor the progress, progress made by, by Muslim people uh, since the invention of algebra. So Fatim al Fidi was, as I said, born 800 AD in Tunisia, all right? Um, her father, uh, Muhammad al Fidi, uh, was a big was was big on education, and at that time, Fez, a city of Morocco, was big on education. So what he did, uh, he uh, he moved to Fez, Morocco, uh, with with his family, two daughter, and his son, and his wife, of course. Uh, he started business there, and he made fortune. He became one of the richest person in Fez. He also made sure that. Uh, his daughters and his son well educated not only uh, not only in uh, in Islamic jurisprudence but also in math and science as well uh, so Fatima uh, Alfiri she was uh, she was well educated and she got married she got married to a rich man as well however um, after a few uh, years of her marriage it was 847 at 847 AD, the same year, her husband and her father and her brother, all three men in the family died. However, they left a big fortune. They left a big fortune for Fatima al -Firi and her sister. So her sister ended up founding uh, a mosque, Al-Andalus. However, Fatima had something else in mind. She wanted to build not only mosque, but also something else. Why something else? Because she wanted to uh, kind of promote math and science education among the Muslim uh, men and women, promote uh, the education uh, in general to Muslim male and female. So she started the construction of the, of the mosque and the, and the learning center, who is uh, eventually became a library and then finally an university uh, around 859 on, uh, on the first day of Ramadan. And um, and, and it ended, the constructor ended in 861. And, uh, and then she enrolled there as a student. She enrolled there as a student to learn uh, math and science. So this is how she promoted, can you imagine 300 million women, 300, 300 million girls right now, today, do not have access to a school just because they're women. And a women at that time, 360, uh, 861 founded, uh, founded the first university of the world. So don't ashamed, don't ashamed yourself just because you are a Muslim woman or you are a woman. It's like Fatim al Firi, you can accomplish anything. <laughs>